of the things or one of the questions that I get all the time is do I believe do I feel as though what we call black unity is possible? That is a yes and a no answer. Because when you said black unity, You must have some type of um, evidence, some type of uh, facts to support that if you said black unity is impossible, because when you said black, you're talking about not a certain group, but you're talking about the whole people called Black America, soul brothers and sisters. And I really don't know. I cannot say, I, I cannot say that. But I can say no on certain individuals, certain mindsets, certain groups, organizations, religious beliefs. We can make a determination based on that. It's a very hurtful thing for me, but I had to accept the reality and understand. Beginning way back in 2009 I had to begin to realize that this genre of persons or groups that fall within the category black power, black first race first or whatever, however they call themselves, they speak as though they care about soul brothers and sisters. They put on a show like they care about the once called Negro in America, Black Americans, African Americans. However, whatever label that you understand us or what we are known to be. I began to realize and I was in denial for a while but if Google did not take down my videos you would see me grappling with this because I didn't think it was real these people that express black power black conscience black scholarship we are the chosen people of God and they say all these things. They have to be our friend. They have to be a friend of the people. But as time has revealed and I was in denial, I could see it. But I was in denial. When you say Angel Snub Nub 7, do you believe that black unity is possible? In this instance, I have to say, this certain, these people, black conscious, those who claim to be awoke, black first, pan Africans, no, it is impossible. Because they're not interested. Because they're too selfish. It's all about what they want. When they want when they want it. They're not willing to make the sacrifice. Nor do they care about future generations. It's all about what they want. 
when they want it. It's all about them. It's mine. It's either their way or the highway. You cannot have a marriage. You can have not have a relationship with nobody when it's all about you. That's why we have divorce. That's why we have disputes and fights and violence. Because there are those who only think about themselves and what they want. When you are in a survival situation and it comes down to rationing water, rationing food, you have those with character. You have certain men that will say, look, let the women and the children eat. I'm going to fast today. You are in a survival situation. You're trying to make it. We are in a survival situation, black Americans. We are trying to survive. We're trying to make it. But then you have those who would go steal. They want more than their ration. You get up in the morning, hey, this is not equal. Somebody stole somebody. Well, I was I was really thirsty. We all thirsty. We all suffering. But you're always going to have those who are only looking out for themselves. And when you look at the black conscious community, black power, black first, this comedic Pan-Africans, whatever it is, they're only looking out for themselves. They don't care what the masses, what the people themselves want. So, no. When you look at the black power movement, no, they're not interested. When you look at Africa, the reason why Africa has been treated the way Africa has been treated is because those people don't care about unity. They only, every nation, the tribes, they only care about I want what I want when I want it. So the Europeans and the Chinese and all kinds of riffraff can easily come to the continent and do whatever the hell they please. And what, what's so sick about it is they will make these people royalty. They will make them kings and queens. <laughs> you raping my continent you are exploiting the people. I'm going to make a Chinese, an African king. I'm going to make some European, an African queen. <laughs> but this is just how sick, melanated people are. Black conscious, these melanated type folks are always talking about how they are royalty, how they, how they are so smart. But your actions don't don't show that. So, like 2017, 2018, somewhere in there, I said, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these, maybe these people actually do have some kind of real love for the black American. They have some kind of real love for Soul Brother. They have some kind of real love for the people. So I invited different mindsets from different places. They weren't doing anything on their YouTube. They might have had a YouTube channel. They stopped talking. They weren't doing anything. I invite them to the Reality Temple on Earth. And I energized them. They start talking on their channels again. They, they want to move. They want to say something. They want to express themselves again. Their black conscience, their nation of Islam, their Pan-Africanism, their Jesus Christ, all these things that they claim they believe in did not energize them. 
what energized them was the power and the strength the reality of this platform so we raised them up from the dead but instead of showing some kind of appreciation they stabbed us in the back not one not two not three all of them we invited to the platform to speak we shared our platform and we promoted them all of them stabbed us in the back stole our idea of Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign take it for their own and then want to challenge and make mockery of that which gave them the energy to speak again because they had nothing to say they wasn't doing nothing until Angel Snuffin' Up 7 we, this platform we put our hands on top of their head and we anointed them gave them strength and what did they do for appreciation they turned around stabbed us in the back make mockery and laugh and slander and gossip and tell lies because they want what they want when they want it they want us and they want the masses of the people to join them on their slave plantation that mind you haven't done a damn thing for them One fella's nothing but a drunk, drive trucks all over the country. He's a drunk. Another person is confused. They they are agnostic. They're Christian. They're atheists. They're Hebrews. Like they can't make up their mind what the hell they want. Pan Africans, they want you to be some kind of unspecified African. They celebrate a flag that has no nation. RBG, the red, black, and green, represents no nation. They're not even united among themselves because they're all selfish. How are you going to unite and you're selfish and you're arrogant looking for followers instead of team players? When we come to this platform, the reality is temple on earth, you never hear me talk about followers. I ask you, do you want to become part of a team? And I may lead the charge, I may lead the way, but we are a team. And I depend on us working as a team. They want to give you more slavery. These fabricated scholarship and history, these foreign religions and beliefs, this pro blackness, black, they want you to go back to Egypt and worship dead people, grave robbers. They want to keep you stuck in the past. They are not creative. They have no vision. They have no plan. They have no goal. They have no purpose. They want you to follow them. Follow you to what? So there are over 40 million of us in this country. And we do not know them. Many of them don't know us. So I cannot say that black unity or soul unity is not possible. But for this particular group, hell no. <laughs> no. 